just got word 12 of the drivers, 12 of the 16 made to feature last night and tonight, eligible for tomorrow for that $1,000 bonus. I'll tell you, I'll, I'm not playing politics. I'm going to pick Brandon up to break that string and make victory lane. He set quick time both nights. He rolls off in that sixth position at car 70. I'm taking Brandon Nutt. Here you go, going. folks. Get off your seats. Stand up. All Let right, race fans, this is know. what you paid to come this and see. This is what you've paid the to midgets. come see. 50 laps. Up on your feet. Wave your hats. Wave your hands. Let them hear the rumble in the Rumble Coliseum. Here they are, the midgets, in the rumble in Fort Wayne. Let's get ready to rumble. They get the one to go signal, the green. We'll come out next time by. Ready to hit the loud pedal. Out of turn four. Here we go, side by side, green out. And what a jump for Jim Anderson. Jim Anderson in the lead over Justin Peck. Kyle Hamilton. Trying to hold up Jeff Kaiser sideways. Brandon up on the outside. It's Jim Anderson. Leading lap number two for Justin Peck. Kyle Hamilton and Kyle Hamilton spins. Hamilton spins in turn two. Collects the one of Nick Hamilton. Oh my. I have two laps scored. Cooper Klaus, another youngster, runs in that third position. Fast qualifier, Brandon up in fourth and fifth to Billy Weeks. And how about my East Coast Bandits, last night's winner, Novelle in the Bobby Seymour Special, the Seymour Racing Enterprises car, already in the top 10. Here we go, green flag back out. Justin Peck, Cooper Klaus, Brandon Duck, Billy Weiss. They come down to complete lap number four. Five laps now in the books. Five laps in for Jim Anderson. Another three or four laps, he will catch the back of the pack. Justin Peck staying close. Nobody trying that high side line yet. Jim Anderson, Justin Peck, Cooper Klaus, Brandon up. Billy Weiss. Problems for Nick Anderson. Looks like something off the 33 to the high side of turns three and four. Looks like the front bumper of the 33 slides up the racetrack. Turns three and four. Last night's winner, Anthony Nacella. Derek Bishak coming from deep in the field. Bishak started at row six in the 11th position. Here we go, green back up. Unofficially 12 laps in. Joe Ligori in the eight up. David Goff in the six. Get together. Separate incidences here on the front stretch. Bye. 
35 to go, now 34 to go. Jim Anderson, Justin Peck, Cooper Klaus, Billy Weiss, Jeff Kaiser, Brandon Up, Anthony Nacella. The top seven have pulled away from the rest of the field. The top seven have pulled away. Now Bobby Santos pulls to the infield. Boy, Justin Peck all over the rear bumper of Jim Anderson. Down to complete lap number 20. 20 laps in, 30 to go. Heavy lap traffic lies ahead. This is where the race is going to get fun. Caution, caution on the speedway. Cooper Klaus had a great run going. That's where that being impatience comes into play. I have 23 laps scored, 23 laps in the books. Nearing that halfway point, another clear track. The 78, the Brandon Nuff runs in that fifth spot. Six now to Anthony Nacella. Here we go, green out. that that Jimmy McCune's dragging around the racetrack there in the 61. from dead last up front. Brandon Up also involved. That was a three-car Fandango that started coming out of the corner. Down across the front straightaway, all three cars going for the same spot. And then that big earth mover timer got in the way. Now he's staying glued right to the rear bumper. Look at that. Trying to go to the outside. Oh, Please Justin Peck almost over that bottom line. And hang on. Oh, look out. A broken front end. For Brandon Nup. Well, that all started actually. Justin Peck got out of the groove in three and four. And Billy Weiss tried to back it up a little bit so he didn't get around him and get penalized. And that the accordion effect coming down the front stretch. Did it get into the control arms? Here we go. Great We're restart for Jim out. Anderson. Back under green. Anderson and Peck pull away from Billy Weiss. Anthony Nacella. Hey, we got a lap in. Here comes Peck taking a look to the inside. 30 laps now in. 20 to go. Here comes Peck. Peck to the inside. Big run off of turn two. Just a Peck into the lane. And he quickly pulls away from Jim Anderson. Coming down to complete lap number 33. Lap 33 for Justin Peck. Lap 34. Fifteen to go. Fifteen laps for Justin Peck. Jim Anderson, Billy Weiss, Anthony Nacella, Jeff Kaiser.
Justin Peck pulling away. Wow, what a race for Justin Peck. He's got a half a straightaway lead. to go, 10 to go for Justin Peck. Jim Anderson. And we got a collision in turns three and four. The one of Nick Hamilton. It looks like Brian Knuckles possibly in the 59 involved over there in turns three and four. Wipes out a huge lead. They get the one to go signal. We go racing out of turn four. Next time by, Jim Anderson going to put the pressure on Justin Peck. Here we go. Peck went on the gas. Screen out. And Justin Peck pulls away. Nine laps to go. Justin Peck, Jim Anderson. Billy Weiss, your top three. Anthony Nacella. Five flanges go in the air. Five laps to go for Justin Peck. Peck on cruise control. Through the corners. A straightaway advantage. Three laps to go for Justin Peck. Jim Anderson, Billy Weese, Anthony Nacella, Jeff Kaiser, and a 98 of Brian Gerster. Three laps to go. Three to go for Justin Peck. Tough break there for the 98 of Brian Gerster. About a half mile in distance to the checkered. Green, oh, look out! Billy Weiss turns around, collects Anthony Nacella and Jeff Kaiser. Still three to go. They get the one to go signal. Justin Peck, Jim Anderson, Billy Weiss. Anthony Nacella, David Goff, Cooper Klaus, Brian Knuckles, and Nick Hamilton. Green out. Two to go. Two to go for Justin Peck. Peck will see the white flag in the air. Justin Peck, one-sixth of a mile away. Here comes Billy Reese. Racing underneath Jim Anderson. Weasel take that second spot. But Justin Peck, his second. Rumble A me. Unofficially, Billy Weese comes home in that second spot. Jim Anderson, third. Anthony Nutella, fourth. So that means. Unofficially, we will have a tie in the Rumble Cup points going into the final event. You're going to see an excited 16-year-old young man in Monrovia, Indiana, as he climbs out of the car on the cage. What do you say for Justin Peck?